All right. So I guess I'll start streaming and uh, explain what's happening. So, what is happening is, uh, I got some windows to close real quick. All right, so first of all, tell me if audio is good, uh, Sherry. And second, uh, I am indeed hosting a tournament. Uh, I decided to throw, because I wanted to do some uh, uh, commentary stuff, and I wanted to do that part of Smash, not just plain Smash, but I, th I really think I could be a really good contributor in this way, maybe even more so. So I decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to go to Smash GG. I'm going to throw out a tournament. My first one, without knowing anything of how I was setting up a tournament, I'm going to do it. And then I did it, and now I have 13 people in the tournament. It, I, it came out of nowhere. But I guess people in, um, people in the Smash community who goes through, just scrolling through Smash GG, be like, hey, look, a tournament. Click. So that's pretty cool. And, people, and there are people who like to play in smaller tournaments because like majors and bigger tournaments have hard people and it's it's good to train in uh smaller tournaments so that's what people are doing so that being said um uh there's 15 minutes left in check-in i have eight out of 13 people checked in i was about to say seven but then it became eight and um obviously i can't stream every match uh i can only stream one match per round um because we will actually be here all day if we don't do that. And all the matches go on at the same time. So, I'll be streaming five matches. Um, it uh, The site is on auto-sign for those. So, maybe, hopefully the auto-sign works. Otherwise, I'll have to manually choose which match I'm going to watch. So, five matches. And if those get done before the losers get done, I might be able to stream a lose, the uh, losers final as well. Doubt it. But it could happen. But five matches, and just so you guys can see what it is now. Um, let me uh boop. So, bam. So uh, right now, again, I have all this on auto sign. We got Ryan B versus Ban Benio. Jade versus M4C3, Elliot versus Gary B, Repulsive Key versus Gordo Lad, and Make Boya versus Surreal Mix. And then the winner of A will fight uh, Brett OK, the winner of D will fight Zay, and the winner of E will fight Crisps. So that's what's going to go on. Uh, again, it's going to the site is going to auto, um, auto assign me one of these matches, and then we're going to you know stream what we can, essentially. Hey, what's up, that guy? Three six two. Welcome to the stream. So, um. Again, this is my first mat, uh, tournament, so I'm, I'm going to see if I should start the arena for whoever I'm streaming. Or they could start the arena. Either way, I have to spectate the match, obviously. Um, and then I'll tell, I'll, you know, do all my moderating stuff. Uh, I'm Chris on Discord. Okay, oh, what's up, Chris? Again, welcome to the stream. Um, now, there's no guarantee that I will be able to stream your match. Because, again, there are a few matches. Um, and plus, you are round two anyway. Uh, because it is on auto assign. But, uh, I'm glad to hear that you're here. And, I, I, uh, if this goes well, which I think it is. Uh, I feel like I have everything set. It, it, it is actually a lot of work to get set up one of these tournaments. Um, but I have everything set. If these go well, especially for the stream, I might make this a weekly thing, or at least, maybe not weekly, depending on how much work I want to put into it, but it might be a consecutive thing. There's going to be more in the future, if this goes well. So, what's up, Doey? <laughs> I'm not even done with my coffee yet. 
because I made a mistake and made the tournament start at 7 o'clock, so I had to change that to at least noon, and then I gave myself three hours of sleep, which is more than fine. Uh, because I, I was actually up till four, like at 4 in the morning just like making sure everything's set correctly because I was thinking too much, and then I napped. I didn't even sleep, I napped. Because I made sure sleeping wasn't 100% comfortable because I... It, the more uncomfortable I am, the easier I am to wake up. So, granted, I've been consistently going to bed at 6 in the morning. So maybe this is a good thing for me. Yeah, I feel ya. Now I'm done with my coffee. This is the first time I've actually been up and doing things before 11.30 in months. Hey! That guy did the follow! Thanks for the follow! It's appreciated. Alright, so we got 10 minutes till uh, check-in is uh, up. We still have 4 people who have not checked in, so hopefully they get in within the 10 minutes. Um... I could technically check them in right before and then DQ them if they don't show up, but I don't want that to also be on their record. So I guess I'll just let them do it. I never nap during the day. Coffee naps make me nervous because they are you're never sure when you will wake up on. That's why if I if I do actually like nap nap, not just like oh I have to sleep so I don't stay up for thirty hours. Um, I'll set an alarm. I, I try to set an alarm 25 to 30 minutes once I lay down. Because uh, 20 minute naps are technically what you should do if you want to actually nap. But then I hit the alarm like 50,000 times and now I sleep for an hour instead. But I still set an alarm. I don't let my body go. Because if I let my body go, yeah, it's going to be hours before I wake up. One thing with Smash GG tournaments is that a lot of people don't check in. Yeah, because it's either people forget or because like I I've done that too where I've I've forgotten that a tournament is a thing and then I'm like oops, I guess I DQ'd. Um, but hopefully, now again this is my first tournament that I've ran, so I don't know if um they can still. And uh, do things even after the check-in. Uh, or they're automatically disqualified. Not sure. Because um, whenever I join the tournament, I check in. And then all I pay attention is to me. Except for my last like video that I made. Where I actually pay attention to like a lot more things. Because I was trying to be anal analytical. But, which I'm going to do more of. I want I to wanna, I wanna record every tournament that I join, and I'm going to try to stream every tournament. No, I'm not try. I'm going to stream every tournament I host. Having check-in isn't mandatory. Having check-ins just makes it go faster. Thanks for the note. I appreciate. Naps are the best. Yeah, Sherry. I know you like your naps. The only problem with me napping is that I stay up even longer. Because I'm, especially recently, like, e well, I mean, it is before the quarantine. Ever since I stopped working a normal job, I've become an insomniac. Which I kind of was before, but now it just got worse. Because now I just do videos and I make my own schedule. So, the f problem with making your own schedule is you sleep too much. <laughs> hey! Me Swong, thanks for the follow. I appreciate. And Daddy Mama's here. Thanks for coming. Um, again, stream streaming is auto signed, so I I won't be. Whoa. And Srail Mix gave a follow too. Look at that, it's a follow. Very much appreciated. I'm M M4 C3 in the tournament. Hey, welcome M4. Quarantine be fucking and everyone's shit up. Yep, quarantine definitely messing with things. But even before that, when I 
when I when I quit Staples to live the starving artist life, I I I stopped uh, having a normal sleep schedule. There's so much hype in the chat. I love it. This tournament is probably one of the best things I've done in uh, recent. People are so, so supportive, and I get follows on Twitch. No. I do appreciate the follows, though. What matches are you streaming? So, it's going to be, just like any other tournament, I'm only going to be able to stream one match per round, and I have it on auto sign. So, whatever it assigns, because I don't want to feel like I'm biased over one person or the another, even though I never met any of you. Uh, it's going to auto-assign, so we will see. And um, and then we will determine if I may open the uh, arena or if they open the arena and I just spectate. Well, I mean, either way, I'm going to spectate, duh. But, <laughs> fair. Because I don't think, I'm pretty sure you can't set up a Smash GG tournament where everybody has to wait for every other match, so you can stream every match. I... Plus, that would take, like, five years. Like, I, I would be here literally all day. So. Like, e e you know, even even with 13 people, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 matches. Which. 13 matches, uh, like, or 13 rounds. 13 matches alone would be a lot. But then... Taking, you know, if it's best of, uh, best of three, which I think it's set up to best of three. It might be five. I don't know yet. Uh, if it's best of three, that's a lot of matches. But I'm pretty sure you can't set up Smash GG where you could do everybody. So I just have it on auto sign and I'm just going to let it go. I'm just going to be like, hey, bam. And then I stream it. Uh, so we got four minutes till uh, check-ins up. Which means uh, five. Then it's ten minutes till the uh, bracket actually starts. Now was ha half hour too much time for check in. Well, if check ins aren't mandatory, I guess it doesn't matter. Actually, now that I think about it, it really doesn't matter. It it starts when it starts. I guess technically, if everybody checked in before the starting time, you could start it before the starting time. But. But yeah, I do appreciate everybody being here, and I it's very good that I am good at non-stop talking, because then I could just vamp for however long. Because I'm sure there's other people who start their streams early like this, but they're like silent most of the time. Which, I'm not saying is an issue, uh, but I like to fill in the void with my mouth. Don't read too much into that. Um, so yeah, we got uh, three minutes to check in. 9 out of 13 people checked in, but we still have 8 minutes till the tournament starts, so I think we'll be fine. And um, everybody who's in the tournament could see who's fighting who. Let me refresh real quick, because the auto... Because I have everything on auto, I don't set up matches, because... I mean, a tournament's a tournament. Um, so again, we got... This is, this is how the matches are going to be looking like. Just what I uh, said earlier. And then I'll be streaming one of these, then one of these, one of these, and then obviously these two. And then bam! <laughs> what that mouth do? Uh, it does a lot. Trust me. That cop, that was the driest coffee I've drank. Like my mouth actually feels dry. It's probably because I had the heater on when I slept. Because that was the one thing that I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make this uncomfortable, for, uncomfortable for me, so I could wake up. Is heat. So now my mouth is dry. Because whenever, whenever I go to bed and I forget that I put, I have the heater on. Um, I do wake up in the middle of the night with a dry mouth. So I'm like, hey, I can force myself to do that. I'm smart. Also, the reason why I'm looking over here the most of the time when I'm talking is because I'm clicking things. 
I have the game here, I got my stream program here, I got the stream itself here and other tabs open. So if you see me just looking over here and then just talking at this screen, it's because things are here. Because <laughs> this is my main screen for the game and stuff, and the webcam's at the game. Because normally, when I stream, I'm just playing the game. Bam, bam. But, and then I'll look over for the chat. Just for, to alleviate any confusions, if there was any. I'm sure people didn't actually care, but. Alright, 30 seconds till check-ins are done, but five, so that means five minutes till the tournament actually starts. And, uh, yeah. And now, and then once I start the bracket... I'll see how the auto hosting thing goes. Still drinking coffee too. Mine's iced though. I can't drink iced coffee. Like, I, I'm 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 very picky with my coffee. Actually, like it needs to be sweet. It needs to be creamy. <laughs> like I spe I specifically only buy like I'll drink other coffees if it's you know if I'm somewhere else. But usually, I'm not gonna like it. I drink Colombian coffee. Doesn't 100% matter the brand, but as long as it's Colombian, with sugar and milk. Not creamer, but milk. Who's on stream first? So, um, Hotspur, uh, I have it on auto sign. So, what, at, when I start the bracket, it should auto sign who's going to stream first. Um, because I, like what I said before, um, which I don't know if you were in the stream or not, probably not, uh, not. um, you, I don't think you could stream every single match. You can only stream one match per round because everything has to go on at the same time. You can't expect people to wait. So it's on auto sign. So each round it's going to be, again, auto. By the way, I have a bird on my shoulder now, just so you know. All right, so check-ins aren't complete. Uh, I'm not going to finalize until I start the bracket. So, four people haven't checked in. Maybe they're going to be late. Uh, we will see. But, I drink whatever on ice with a splash of lactose-free milk. Yeah, ice, no. My coffee has to be hot. That's the entire reason why I have this cup, is because it keeps it hot. Hi, hi, bird. You want to watch some Smash tourneys? Because that's what you're going to be doing. Alright, four minutes till tournament. And then, uh, also the, with the website, you'll know who's being streamed if you check the brackets. There, there, there will be a Twitch symbol on who's being streamed. So, just look out for that and you'll know who's being streamed which if it's uh a d or e uh crisp zay and bread could have an advantage but that's with any tournament because then they could like watch the match <laughs> nice yeah they just kind of come on me whenever they want and they just fly over right I'll get, after the tourney, you'll get apples, okay? You have seeds. I just filled up your seeds, so you can't be too baggy. All right, so two minutes... And then I'll finalize the check-ins, and I'll start the bracket, and then we'll, uh, hopefully the auto sign works, because it is on. And, uh, we will stream whoever it says. Now, if it is your match, uh, don't, don't start until I'm ready, essentially. But it'll be up to you guys to set the, uh, stage as well. Well, if I'm spectating, I don't think it'll change the stage. Actually, now that I think about it. 
I say things and then I go back on what I say because I'm like, oh wait, that doesn't make sense. Like I, I have an internal argument with myself. All right. It's nearing. We got one more minute. And then all those matches are the same. Let me I'm gonna refresh just in case the auto sign did something different. But I don't think it did because there's no new entrance, obviously, because I closed them. So yeah, everything's the same. Uh most people are checked in, which yay, I'm glad. I might actually be able to stream loser matches because, like, at least a final, because there's actually more rounds in the losers than there is in the uh, normal. So we will, we will see what happens now that I look at it. That's interesting how that is set up. Granted, round one is only, you know, you know one. Uh match but or you know what i mean all right so i'm gonna finalize that um well let me just start bracket how about that Uh, okay, no, I, I do have to finalize that, okay. So, so I'm going to check these guys in, because, uh, just in case, and then I'm going to start the bracket, and then I'll DQ them if they obviously take too long. All right. So the bracket is started, I hate, I think. So, let me take a look here. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Alright, so I guess it didn't auto sign. So, um, who is in the stream right now? That is, take. okay, so I got M4 here. Crisp is here. Because it, uh, Bambinio is here. Jade is here. I guess, so I'm going to do Jade versus M4 because both, I, I know both of them are watching the stream. So, oh, Doey, thanks for the subscribe, or podscribe, as I called it, appreciate it, so, um, Jade, make sure you uh, check in, enter your match, because it is starting. Alright, so now in the chat, so I'm going to go into the arena you guys set up, and, uh, and then I'm going to be in, uh, and then I'll, I'll spectate and, uh, we'll start from there, I guess. Also, what's up, Jerry? Homies sexual discord. That's funny. I like it. Also, again, thanks for that subscribe. It makes me feel good. And yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 
uh, try my very best to be as professional as a commentator as possible. Maybe with some swears, uh, because uh, this stream is rated M for mature in ways. I'm gonna try. To be, I'm gonna be. I'm definitely gonna be professional with it. My 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 filter tends to switch when it's like, oh, professionalism. As a as a teacher of karate, I have to do that. I have to have a filter. Um. So I, I can I can actually see your guys' chat uh, as moderator. So you can actually put that in the uh, Smash GG chat as well. But um, which well you already typed it in, but I'm gonna. Well, that doesn't help. I guess I'll just put it in. Swearing is required. Four P R one W. Join uh, 2580. But yes, so for, for future notice, if I'm streaming you, I, I can actually see your chat and I will actively moderate. And then if anything happens, I, I need at least one admin. So I feel like these are set to fives. Um... That might not be a normal thing in the future. Um, but this, this being the first tourney, you know, fixing out some bugs and stuff like that. But more matches, right? More fun? <laughs> oh, I see. Well, it's already it's already set up now, so Alright, so we got these two matches going. We got these two guys checked in. Uh how long until Okay, five minutes till they're disqualified. Alright, so I did set it up correctly. Alright, so... Got people to strike. Okay. So now we are... They are setting up the stages right now. Choosing, uh... Counter picks. Not, well, not counter picks, but... Who's striking what and what stage we're going to be on. But we have a Terry versus a K rule. So we will see how this goes. All right, so this. They shut down this uh, arena, so, uh, oh, okay, stage select wasn't on, he's gonna have to do it again, but now, um, yeah, no, it's fine, totally makes sense, I'm talking to one, one set of people. This bird's still on me. Medley's been friendly lately. This is this is probably gonna be the first Smash tournament ever where the commentator is a pirate <laughs> with a bird on his shoulder, a real bird. I'm sure somebody's made like an actual pirate costume somewhere. I'm sure. In this world, 
I, I, I wouldn't doubt it. All right. So this match is going to take a little bit longer because we have to reset it up. But, uh... So, I'm going to keep mine at random because I'll let you guys control that. So, just make sure you guys choose the stage that is needed, which is Final Destination. All right. So, we got uh, Terry versus K. Rule. So, um... Not a lot of people make K rule, so I, I am very interested to see how this plays out. Uh, Final Destination, uh, this could go either way. Both characters are good on this stage, uh, especially Terry being a uh, you know from a fighter. He's actually really good on flat stages, and uh, K rule might have a harder time with this matchup though, because uh, K rule does kind of fall apart. When it comes to close combat, and Terry is all about close combat, so maybe if uh, K. Rule could actually uh, uh, kind of keep uh, Terry at bay, uh, they could do some good stuff. Or, uh, I mean, you could definitely outmatch him hand to hand, but Terry as a character is just better at said hand to hand. But this has been a pretty even match so far. Uh, Terry definitely doing the, uh, one-two combo right there. The good old Terry combo. And doing a lot, a lot of edge guarding. Oh, there's gonna be a back throw. Terry's back throw isn't terribly strong, though. And the, uh, Ken, Ryu, and Terry are not the best at edge guarding because they don't have the best air. Uh, granted, they have better edge guarding when it comes to offstage play than Lil Mac. But everybody does, so. But this, again, this might be a bad matchup for K. Rule. Because of the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now, K. Rule does have a lot of super armor that could be utilized. But that being said, um, super armor only works on the front of K. Rule. His back is completely exposed. Oh, but he got that cannon! That cannon definitely worked out for him. Oh, but he, lo he lost the crown, which is very uh, detrimental. Because once that person... Because that crown is actually a very important... Uh, by the way, I have two birds now. Uh, that crown is a very important part of uh, K. Rool's kit. So when somebody else gets it, it's actually kind of an issue. Again, there's no... But anything can happen. So K. Rool could still pull this out. Just got, just got to be patient. Especially like what uh, he's doing right now. Actually, is keeping Terry in the air because Terry's air game is his weak point. If he's on the ground, he's super strong. Uh, but keep him in the air, and he's he can get juggled pretty easily, which he definitely utilized right there. But now we got it. Oh, really? Shield and you know K. Rule being the heavy guy that he is. That shield lasted quite a while. Ooh, and the parry. Right at the end there. Oh, but that combo. Let's see how well the edge guard goes. Again, anything could happen here. And now K. Rule is being a little more patient, not being too upfront with Terry, because, again, Terry clo close up is a very scary thing. That good old dash attack. Oh, this is, so see now, now both players are being very patient. Ma making sure uh, no mistakes are happening. And K. Rule's recovery is really good. He could camp at the bottom of the stage and s still recover. Oh, this could be the end of it. Let's see what happens here. Oh, so close. 
And with the uppercut, Terry comes out. At to on top. That was hardcore. We have the wrong... Okay. So, you got... Okay. I, I, I definitely need to assign a second moderator. Um, Which one is it? You guys. All right. So what is the wrong score? Uh, one Zerba says, okay. Address now. Game one is actually you. All right, battle's about to start. We got Terry versus uh, Lucina. And here we go. Now, I'm going to try to moderate this as best as I can. I should be winning 1-0. Okay, you are winning 1-0 now. Now, you guys can continue. Because on my screen, it says you are. All right, so sorry for not uh, commentating for this, this part of the match. I had to moderate, which now that I know this, next stream or next tournament, I'm going to find somebody to moderate or help me moderate. And if anybody in the stream wants to do that, um, contact me, <laughs> either Discord or at, at all the other social medias I have down there. But... Uh, so now we got close combat to close combat. Changing from K. Rule to Lucina was probably a, a really good choice. Lighter character, but very good for you know close up combat. Which Terry still has a projectile, but as long as Lucina stays in close, uh, they could do. She could do really well. Still says I'm down. On my screen it says you're up. Oh, and now it says you're down. What? Yeah, reset. Reset. Alright, so I reset the match. You guys just say, uh, who won. The audio is a bit unsynced for the game. Um, that's weird. I don't know why it's like that. Unless it's not actually coming out of the stream like it should. So, uh, again, sorry for uh, not commentating. At least you've been seeing the match. But as it seems, uh, at least you know, definitely needs to get a power move in. But that, that go mechanic of Terry's is, again, is a very scary thing. That go mechanic, very powerful as long as they know the inputs, which this Terry player does. And, oh, got the edge guard, though, that uh, tipping. So, I, so Lucina can definitely do something here. And, but, uh, Bell, um... Battlefield was definitely a good choice for a counter pick because Terry does not do well, or Terry Terry is the most strong in um, flat stages. So when you add in platforms, that's when things get uh, can be dicey. You could utilize the platforms against him and utilize the air because he is definitely more so of a ground fighter than not. 
Tipping. That's what I said. Tipping? I feel like I said that. I could have not. Oh. So he's, he's definitely giving that good old uh, projectile. Keep, just keeping Lucina at bay as much as he can. But now Lucina, very good at edge guarding. Even without offstage play, she is really good at guarding that edge. Uh, especially with that uh, down tilt. No, you did. Okay, cool. Yes. Nailed it. <laughs> but yeah, that, that down tilt, down, down tilt it can be dangerous on edge. Oh, and that was very close. And Lucina is being able to pull it back. It looked scary for Lucina there for a sec, but then she, she was able to do it. But here we go. Now, both players are being very patient. Lucina trying to stay on top so he could get Terry in the air. But, but Terry definitely read that. And he's like, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to jump up there. I know what's going to happen. But that was, that was a good parry. But she, she has to get something in. Or he, the person who's playing. Lucina definitely has to get something in here. A good uh, combo off the stage. But, again, with that uppercut. Lucina can also counter Terry's up B. Yes. That, that's also a very good point. That she could use her B down. Be down is a very strong tool. Any character with a counter has a very strong counter. And then, so... So Jade wins that match. Alright, so now we're going to go... Uh, I guess, so this match looks like it's already started... Oh, one more, one or more players are not checked in there, and same thing with this. So we might have some DQs here. Uh, I did, I did check them in myself, so that's probably what happened. But yeah, GG Jade. That was very, very, very good matchups. That was, those are so GG both of you, hundred percent. Um, very good matches. K and K rule did better than I was expecting against a Terry. K rule actually did very much, but very good Lucina play as well. But they just got just got the uh, right at the end there. Those uppercuts are dangerous. So now uh, Gary's checked in on this next match. We might. Be facing some DQs here. So how about so Zay and Gordo Lad? They started. Um. So I will now start streaming your guys' match. As long as you guys give me the code. So I'm gonna check your guys' chat. Um, unless if you're chatting in Discord, but get, um, yeah. <laughs> get Cloud in here. So they checked in, but we're still waiting. So Zay is definitely in. And Gordolad won by DQ. So I don't know if he's... He should still be there. There we are. There we are. So, and when, when streaming, I'm going to try to try to get as many people in as possible. I'm not just going to follow one person all the way through. So. So.
So let's go ahead and be there. And actually, now that I think about it, nah, it's fine. What? All right. So I'm gonna wait for them to uh, give me the codes and stuff. I am parched, so I'm not gonna wait for people to spend 100 channel points because I just want to drink. All right. So we got six, five, nine, DQ. And then we got the password of 53, bam. All right. Now first, let me double check if the moderator needs to be anywhere. All right, he set the room. Uh, we're still waiting for Brad to uh, check in. Um, or Ryan might win by disqualification, automatically going to the semifinal. Uh, looks like Jaden Gary has already started and everything's going well. Terry versus Bowser, so that's going to be something. Uh, another, you know, Jaden facing another heavy. But then, uh, now I just gotta wait for them to, uh, do their thing. So you guys definitely do have to, uh... Yeah, so, uh, let me see. I just had to uh, type something. Just waiting for them to uh, kind of set their stuff up. So I am being a little bit silent right now. Also, Cherry's playing uh, New Horizons, GG. <laughs> So I don't know if this is Zay's first tournament or not, so I'm just making sure everything's going well. Uh, but uh, you guys need to do something. GG! <laughs> All the Gs. All right. Ooh. We got another we got another K rule. Most K rules I've seen in a tournament so far. This is this is entertaining for sure. And we got two heavies this match actually. So now we're waiting for them to uh, strike the stages. Uh, that they're going to strike and we're going to figure out which uh, stage we're going to be on. And then I guess I'll uh, stream whatever this is if these don't get done in time.
automatic disqualification. That needs to happen. There we go. Okay. So Ryan B automatically wins this match because of uh, auto DQ. Uh, the, these two matches, uh, Chris and Sarail versus, and also Jaden Gary, is uh, on its way or already doing its stuff. And battle has about to start, or about to start, has started. So we got K Rule versus K, uh, King Didi. So uh, two heavies that their most important moves are their side Bs. So. Where am I? Where is my wife? I can't answer that. I mean, I know you're in a um, Smash tourney watching it now. Which, again, we got two heavies. Now, they're, these uh, two characters are about the same uh, speed and uh, weight. And uh, a lot of the moves have about the same power, too. Uh, but, arguably... King D might have the better side B because of unpredictable, a little bit extra power and unpredictability, but uh, can be countered as well. So it depends on if uh, K Rule uh, utilizes that. Uh, so we got we, okay, we got a good uh, good back and forth going on here, and they both have uh, a move that could uh, suck in enemies. Which is uh, very cool. Uh, but uh, K Rules has a little more of a warning where King Dedede's just kind of happens. Uh, but with them both being powerhouses, uh, either one of them could uh, just make the other one fly. But they're also both heavy. So they won't, don't, it's not like against Sheik where it'll just die immediately. But that was a good short, uh, sh short hop back air though from the DD. That usually a good option with a lot of characters. And ooh, gotta be a little bit quicker on those uh, attacks after the burial. Especially you could, uh, depending on how good the other person's at mashing, you could definitely uh, mash out of it pretty quick. So you almost have to buffer your next attack once you bury them. Because that's one thing about Smash Ultimate is that you really have to think about the buffer system and uh, working with it. Doesn't feel like it, at least not to me, but it's definitely there. But now we got we got a two stock lead. Uh, if if K Rule gets a good uh, off stage play against DD, because DD is not his recovery is less controllable than uh, K Rule's, so K Rule could definitely recover a lot better. Um, then K. Rool could still come out on top, but he was, he would have to have some good offstage play or, uh, completely outplay him for the next two stocks. Oh, countering the side, th that, that's one bad thing. If the D, if the D is not ready for his, uh, Gordo to come back at him, he's going to get hurt and he's going to get hurt a lot. But that back air off stage, it didn't kill. And again, K. Rule has a really good recovery. So if he plays really well, he could come back from this. A lot, lot of shield rolls going on there. Don't want to uh, abuse that too much. It's going to get a little slower. Oh, but he got the cannon. Ooh, count countering the Gordo with the cannon. That works really well. Covers a lot of options that DD has. Oh, but that... That recovery was a little too fast for K. Rule to uh, down spike, and K. Rule, ooh, that back air. I was gonna say K. Rule can definitely air dodge off stage and still be safe because of his recovery. Some other characters can't do that because their recovery isn't good enough. Um, and K. Rules is just amazing, but uh, D just kind of just read a little bit, a little bit uh, extra. So D D comes out on top. Look at that. Uh, so while you guys are planning on uh, banning stage and stuff, I'm going to check other matches, see if uh, they need a moderator or not. Um, it doesn't look like they do, so everything seems to be going well. So, so now you guys are striking stages.
And here comes the counter pick. How do I join? I'm on Big Bros Wii U and it won't let me connect to you. Are you are 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 you, are you trolling? I'm gonna call you macaroni because that's the word I could read. Are you trolling macaroni? I feel like you're trolling. GG though. I like it. Alright, so are we gonna try a counter pick or are we gonna try the, the same matchup? Ooh, we're, tr we're gonna counter pick another heavy, but a very different heavy. We we got a. Well, you know, what? I'll let I'll let the stream see it first. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil what the counter pick may be. If you're not trolling, uh, Smash Ultimate is a game on the Switch, not the Wii U, so you cannot join the tournament. Also, the tournament was also pre decided. Uh, on smash.gg if you do have a switch and want to play smash ultimate and attorneys i'll uh, join the discord and i'll keep you guys updated anyway we have incineroar versus uh king ddd so uh definitely using that uh counter of it's not exactly a counter using the beat down of incineroar for that little extra power now, a very upside, uh, a very uh, good move, especially in this situation, is going to be Incineroar's uh, side B. Because it's, it counts as a grab, so he, um, and it has a long distance. It's like an extended dash grab with a lariat. And it's very, it's very useful. But King D might be able to uh, get something going here. So, so King DD uh, is up a stock, but um, Incineroar can definitely pull this back because Incineroar does have a lot of power as long as they utilizes it correctly. And his throws, uh, throws are very powerful because he's got that, that wrestler uh, move set. So obviously his uh, throws and grabs are going to be very powerful. And with that uh, side air, forward air, I said side air like an idiot. But you got that smash attack, and now we're even in stocks, not even in percentage, but with these powerhouses, especially if he uses his B down, it could change almost immediately. And King DD, King DD is not bad in the air. He does have some good jumping power. So that's where he will excel in this situation. Plus, he has the Gordo, so he could keep them in range where Incineroar doesn't have any range moves. So he's just going to have to get in close and stay in close if he's going to want to uh, be uh, effective. Because King Didi has zoning capabilities. So, and a very good ones at that. But he was able to get on back on stage, but wasn't able to uh, defend against that hammer. That good old smash attack. Using that, using that B move not only as an attack, but to uh, lag in the air a little bit. Kind of throwing him off a little bit. That works. And he was able to dodge that hammer, which does have quite the range. Oh! In the midst of the roll, he got hit by the hammer. The charge hammer. That is, that's good. Try and own the Wii again and see what happens. Wait, what? My Wii says the WFC isn't working. What do I do? What's your friend code? That is personal. Wii equals trash. Tr uh, Kappa. Uh, try the Wii again and see what happens. Burb agrees. Hey, what's up, Burb? Uh, Super Mario Bros. Wii is a classic, and I got it for my 7th birthday, and it got the game of the year 2007. Anyway, uh, that very good matchups, but King DDD did come out on top. Uh, really, that, that, that Gordo could not uh, be stopped, really. 
being able to counter that Gordo was really definitely a task. Uh, it was a heavy versus heavy, but he had the range. So he kind he came out on top on that match. But very good matches, uh, nonetheless. So, uh, Ryan and Jade has already started their matches. So I'm not going to be able to stream them, obviously. So, uh, whoever wins Chris... For, uh, whoever wins this will... Uh, Chris versus uh, Surreal is going to be facing uh, Gordo Lad. Not unless if Jade, you haven't started your match, but I feel like you have. So, I'm. Oops, I did not want to open another tab. Jenna Tools is a good YouTube channel. Turning in from the bracket. What's up, fellas? Hey, welcome! <laughs> Choose Smash character. Next time I stream Smash, you know what? In honor of this tournament, my Thursday stream is going to be streaming Smash. How about that? And the first character I play will be Diddy Kong. Remind me. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll see you in the activity feed as long as it doesn't get pushed down, actually. Also, you got 1,000 channel points already? Or, or no, it's only 500. Uh, I don't have a, uh, command for the bracket. I didn't even think about that. But, if you want to see it, here it is. So, this is what's going on. Um, they already started, so I will be streaming this match. And then, at the winner's final, check in, but don't start your match. So then I can stream you guys. Um, and I will say that in the, uh, chat here as well, just so you guys know. But do not start that match. I know you guys will be waiting a little bit. But. Yeah. Uh, we do got losers brackets going on right now. Uh, Elliot lost by DQ. Um, so M4 won by DQ. And we'll see. There's a lot of DQs happening. Because some people did not check in. Which makes sense. Yes, yeah, so once this match is done, uh, I will stream that, and then, and get, and sorry, but you guys are going to have to wait if you guys want to be streamed. Or I'll just vent for 20 minutes. <laughs> well, no, you, you're going to have to wait anyway for this match. So, again, sorry, I'm actually an idiot sometimes. Sometimes I say words and then I don't think it through. So you're gonna you whoever wins this is gonna have to wait for this match anyway. SD twice. Aw oh, man. My bro thinks the well this is DQ and this is already going. Hi bird. Honestly, if you guys are waiting on something. Uh, please set up lobby and invite your opponents. I'm okay, Deluxe is for the Switch, not for the Wii. I don't, I don't know what's happening with this conversation anymore. <laughs> And Deluxe wasn't on the Wii U. The original 8 was on the Wii U, but Deluxe, the Deluxe Edition is the Switch. Fun fact. Um, that's not patronizing. I didn't mean, I didn't mean that. Um. So still waiting on, so this is 1-1 one, one already. So I'm going to, Click into it. I think they already started, so I'm not going to really shove myself in there. So now you can see my face. Hey, what's up? So they have one more match going. They have their match going. So again, whoever wins this one is going to have to wait for this match. 
or for K to get done, which I apologize. Well, that's the nature of the online tournament. I it's not the fact that I, I didn't do anything for that to happen, let's say. Outside of waiting for the DQs to be timed out. But um I either fight a Ness or a Wolf. <laughs> Yeah, Ness Ness is a bad matchup in general. Online, I personally am bad against Nesses or or Lucas, Ness more so. Um But yeah, two Yeah, they are kind of bad matchups, especially yeah, cuz Wolf has that counter and Ness is uh has the uh his PK moves. King DD can definitely uh be hard against that. It'd be like that though. So as long as there's no Palus, I'll be fine. Yeah, Pal I, I lost. Uh, I lost one of my first tournaments to uh, Palutena. I lose to Palutena's a lot. Palutena's hard to fight. In all honesty, pretty hard to fight. I still have a bird on my shoulder. Just so you guys know. So, uh, Gary's definitely going to win by DQ because Repulsive is not there. Uh, Mick Bosa, or Boa, Boa, uh, already won by DQ. Uh, so then we got Zaya and M4. Um, Van Benio, loser, oh, he's going to be fighting loser of P. Where's P? I don't know my alphabet. <laughs> no, loser. No, I, I read that wrong. Loser of I. Okay. So, that match is not going to go on until that one's done. Also, I do like to appreciate everybody who is indeed here. I appreciate everybody. And I'm going to try and make these tournaments, especially with how well this one's going... And stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and make this. And if everybody's okay with the uh, noon o'clock Central Time, I could keep it that and just try to do that every Tuesday. It, and uh, it just be a weekly play pot tournament. If uh, people would like. But next time, I'm going to get at least one more uh, admin slash moderator to help me out with this. Everything seems to go be going pretty well. But moderating, being able to stream and moderate at the same time is hard. So, uh, yeah. So, Jay, so, uh, update. If it will actually open. Uh, Jade won 2-0 again. Her Terry is pretty uh, scary. Uh, it was versus a Pac-Man and Ice Climbers. The Ice Climbers trying to be a counter pick, but the Terry still won. So, got a 2-0 there. And Jade moves on to the winner's final. Uh, and we still have this match to do. So, we will see how well this goes. Uh, they should be almost done. Uh, and we got this match. Gary B versus Mick Bosa, which is going. And then this match has not yet gone because this match is actually taking a while. Okay, they they just got done with their match. And uh, so now they're going to confirm the results. Uh, hopefully they do it quick. I know this site sometimes have, has issues with updating things, but. Like on Rick and Morty, yes, exactly. Alright, match results verified. So now I will be streaming. So, Gordo did. So, how this played out, Gordo did get two matches uh, back to back. Uh, streamed. 
Uh, but now we got, uh, uh, Srail versus Gordo. Let me look at the chat. Uh, nope, I don't want to create, I want to join. Enter. Uh, six, five, nine. Well, as long as you guys don't start the match, you guys will be fine. Oh. DQ. Uh, join five, three. All right, so we got surreal. There we go. Oh, can you guys back out? You guys started it too quick. Hi, bird. Oh, button check. Got it. All right, so now they're doing the striking stage and stuff like that. Hydrate. Oh, test run bunch. Okay. I apologize. Just want to make sure th um, things do good. Ooh, that was some intense cracking. All right, so. Oh, so I'm going to close that window. That window is pointless now. So now we have a wolf versus a king deity. So like what Gordo was saying, it is a bad matchup for um, king deity. So we will see how this goes. Because wolf does have a lot of options that kind of nullify a lot of what king deity does. And power to boot. Because he still has the range. He can counter. Uh, he has a decent air game. Which he could juggle king deity pretty well, actually. Uh, King still has the still has some range and he's a heavy, so it'll still take only a few hits. But Wolf isn't light either, so this this could go either way, honestly. Um, but the better matchup is technically Wolf. Wolf is better against DD than DD is against Wolf. But we got a pretty good uh, mix up going on here. Uh, Wolf trying to keep Candidi at bay, uh, but uh, Deity doing the same with his Gordos, like very effective Gordos, but Wolf is not letting those Gordos uh, slide. He's using the, that uh, B down and neutral B to uh, nullify those Gordos, and that side B really thread the needle there. It was really good. Got that back air going on, and B up. Ooh, he's really trying to counter the edge guard. Oh, but the hop back here, he actually got Wolf. Because either way, King DD is still heavier than Wolf. Oh, but that up smash. If, if it was a lighter character, that definitely would have killed him. But you got King DD who is, well, heavy. I am actually kind of shocked that that actually hit. I thought he was going to be out of range, but I guess there was a little, uh, shock. And then we got those Gordos. Oh, but he, he planned for that. But, trying to, trying to read the Gordo, he SD'd. So, now he's down two stocks. But he can definitely pull this out, especially if he gives a good juggle. Probably a good hit right here would do it. And you, you gotta watch out for King DD's, uh, little splash effect. 
Because that'll get you. It's like, oh, he's not going to hit me. Oh, wait, the stars will, though. So, Kindy does have a couple splash effects on his moves. Specifically his uh, smash and his um, B-up. Oh, trying try to do the good old short hop uh, for, for an air. But that dash attack really hits uh, Wolf hard. W winning the match with that dash attack. Alright, so now we're doing some... Um, uh, banning stages, we're going to do a counter pick. Opponent is choosing stage. So now, uh, Srail will be choosing the stage. And the stage is Pokemon Stadium too, so now they could uh, judge for that. Now, opponent is choosing a character. Is uh, did he choose a counter pick, or is he cho oh counter picking with uh, Pikachu? Very good counter pick. Yoshi's brawl of all stages. That's just in the rule sets. I I wanted the most amount of options for these tournaments, and this preset rules. It was a lot of uh, had a lot of stages, and I like that. But you can ban it if you don't like it. So, uh... Pikachu does have a really, really good combo game. And if, uh... Suri could, uh, get that combo game going, especially against Didi, he could definitely, uh, juggle him quite a bit. Because Pikachu's actually really good against heavies because of his, like, lag of, or lack of end lag. He could, uh, really combo him hard. But... He has to get in because uh, King Didi has a lot of range for being a heavy. That hammer does extend quite a bit. So Pikachu just needs to get in there and start that combo game going. And Pikachu does not have... Uh, or Pikachu has a decent amount of power too. Uh, especially with the uh, forward air. And, uh, and down smash is probably one of the better ground moves. But... That back air uh, conquers it. Because King Didi is still heavier. And he, uh, Gordo is definitely utilizing that. But that Thundershock definitely... Uh, or Thunderbolt. Shot, bolt, whatever. Thunder uh, definitely uh, knocked him right out. Because that is... Especially on, on the sweet spot is a very powerful move. And Sherry is excited about Pikachu because she likes Pokemon. And good thing, uh, Pikachu is definitely uh, high tier slash top tier. Uh, really good combo game. And it's not only because of Esam, even though he's the one who everybody thinks of when it comes to Pikachu. But he's Pikachu's just a good player. Because there's a lot of options he could cover. Really great recovery, good uh, combo game. Not too light, still light, but not too light. Oh, and let go of that shield Right at the wrong time. See, so Pikachu's trying, trying to stay safe. Even though Pikachu is winning in percentage, King Dedede, being as a hard hitter as he is, can definitely uh, change that real quick. That was very interesting. That was a very interesting uh, chain of events there. Like... He had the super armor, but still got hit. And then Pikachu still got hit, but... It was interesting. But that dash attack will take... I didn't... Uh, Pikachu has a stronger dash attack than I thought he did. But he got quick attack going up the stage. Now, he... Uh, Pikachu definitely needs to just uh, at least get some percentage on this. Nope, but he did not. So now it is... A completely neutral game, completely even. So this this is where it all comes down to. Who who's gonna win? Who is it gonna be a big smash or is it gonna be a big combo? That's basically what's gonna come down to. Or th uh, 
Thunder. But now Pikachu's definitely trying to keep uh, King D at bay with the Thunder. They're both really trying to uh, outpatience the other guy. Pikachu is quick, but DD has that uh, range with his hammer. And this, this is very close. Pikachu's combo game can definitely make uh, close that percentage gap. And being able to neutralize uh, King DD with his uh, Thunderbolts definitely very helpful. And b big on uh, combo game as well. Or edge guarding. I knew what I meant. See, doing those uh, short hops, uh, fairs and bears. But now, but he did close the gap. Now Pikachu does have better percentage. But this could go south really quick. Uh, one good smash attack could kill Pikachu at this rate. So, uh, but not necessarily for King DD. Oh, but the Gordo comes in at last second. That close range Gordo. Not expected. That was such a close match. Uh, my opponent won't verify. Uh, who are you in this? By the way, GG both of you. That was a really good match. But King DD uh, comes out on top. Uh, is it McBosa and Gary? Says the PK player. Um, so he's not verifying the results, huh? Well, I, I will verify it for you then. If it's taking that long, there you go. I have confirmed the match for you guys. So now, Jade versus Gordo. Here we go. Uh, uh, I will see who has what open. Also, all right, so I'm going to stay in this room and Jay's going to come in here because both of them had one open. Uh, so they have to decide which one to go in. So now, Jay versus Gordo. Here we go. So knowing who they main, we got a Terry main, and then we have a King Dedede main. Uh, this matchup is actually kind of bad for King Dedede if Terry stays in close. So what's probably going to happen is trying to use Gordo, which... That's like King Dedede's main move anyway, uh, especially for setups. It says no arenas found. Interesting. But um, Terry still has a projectile that he could also use. So it's going to be projectile versus projectile, but Gordo is better than Terry's projectile. Which I don't know the name of the top of my head. Misclick the one. Got it. All right. Join the game lobby. Very good. So now you guys are deciding on what match to do. But while they decide that, I want to take a look. So, Gary won his matchup. They just started his... Uh, so, Ban won his match against Chris. Uh, with the Captain Falcon versus... Who was it? A Ness and a Joker. So, Captain Falcon probably 
just overwhelm them with speed. So I, I can see why you would use Joker to counteract that speed. But uh, Joker only has a lot of power when Arson's out. And his back air is really good, too. Uh, and his dash attack is pretty decent, but Captain Falcon has a lot more uh, options. But M4-1 with his uh, K rule. So now we have a K rule versus a Captain Falcon, which is interesting. But now we have, on stream, Terry. Uh, in the winner's bracket, J versus Gordo, which the mains are Terry and Kane Dedede. We will see how this goes. Ready? All right, so they're... I feel like this might be a button check, or there might... No, they were just weighing each other out. All right. So let me make sure I have everything open that needs to be open. And no, no I'm, I'm trying to... I'm going to have the winner stream first, and then uh, lose, lose a stream once the winner stream is over, in a way. If... Next time, if I could get a second person to stream, I could have somebody stream losers. But I usually, uh, again, first tourney, so I got research on what other people do. But gonna do all winners. Again, a a the you know the more the more I do these, the better they're gonna be ran, <laughs> because this is the first one. But I'm gonna try to do this weekly if I can. Um, all right, so we got King DD again versus a Terry. Now, I'm, my mind says, gotta get back into the match. And wow, he so all we got so King DD is overwhelming Terry with just pure power. Oh, wow, he was Terry was able to mash out of that and have King DD technically SD and recover. And Terry's recovery is not that great, so he popped out really hard. But again, uh, using the combination of the Gordos and the uh, just power and range King Dedede has might actually be good against Terry. Terry has the combos, but King Dedede is not letting those combos happen. And King Dedede wins the first match with a two stock. Palutena is a good Dedede. Palutena is a good... Uh, DDD for sure. <laughs> I am popping off tonight, says Gordo. Alright. So th these are very good matches. So are we going like, to see a counter pick or are they going to stay their main? We will see. We are currently choosing games. Also, if you want to join the Discord for uh, notifications of future tournaments or future streams in general, because I do a lot of personal stuff for my YouTube, or just to chat in the Discord. Uh, but mainly, right now, since we are doing the tournament, you will also be updated on future tournaments. Uh, definitely do that. And the more, the more tournaments I do, the more I will perfect it. But for my first tournament, I think I'm doing pretty well, in all honesty. But now we have. So was there a counter pick? Okay, there was a counter pick. I will let the stream see before I say anything. Bam, Jigglypuff. Is there game sound people? Uh... So it shouldn't be quiet. So let me fix something real quick. You're going to miss the match for a second. You guys should be hearing it now. And I apologize if it was that quiet. But again, so Jigglypuff is a good, can be a good matchup because uh, a lot of air game. But, uh, King DD does have um, range. So, uh, 
Gordos not, might not be as effective against Jigglypuff as they are with a lot of other characters, especially Terry, because Terry is so grounded. Jigglypuff is very floaty, and Gordos might not be helpful. But with Jigglypuff's weight being so light, a couple of attacks can take her out. And he still has range. Uh, not only, like, distance, but the smash attack is not as bad as Gandorf's, but in the same vein as Gandorf's. So, um, I gotta set, stop saying, um, I'll get better at this. Um, I just said, um, Jigglypuff can definitely, definitely has to play more patiently, uh, than most other characters against this matchup. Jigglypuff can definitely juggle quite a bit against Didi because how, because he does have his weight. But being able to kill is going to be a different story. Unless if uh, Jigglypuff can pull off the um, sh short hop uh, fair combo. Or just edge guard like what she's going to do right now. He shielded the Jigglypuff uh, song. The Jigglypuff song. Sleeping. Trying to really patient him out because he still has a stock lead with 68%, which with Jigglypuff is not good. So we will see what happens here. Again, very, very patient game. But King Didi's definitely uh, countering it. He's not going gun ho because that, that could go into something bad if he gets too cocky, but he's not doing it, even though he has a stock lead right now. He's still pl playing pretty patiently. Oh, that could have been bad, but Jigglypuff has like all the jumps. So, he could have still recovered, but it would have been bad for edge guarding. Jigglypuff is in a very bad position right now, not being able to, being able to get a lot of hits in, very high percentage, but uh, Jigglypuff needs to get uh, kill moves in. Um, maybe with a, uh, uh, being able to lead up with the uh, edge guarding a lot more quicker, but definitely some maybe a, uh, a either a really good juggle or a really good smash attack. But now Jigglypuff is not a good character to be in a disadvantage. Jigglypuff can def it's harder for Jigglypuff to come back due to her lightness and weight, but it could still definitely happen. So we will see, again, we will see what happens. Trying try to get that up tilt on the DD, but he just stayed in that shield, and the up tilt was only going behind her. And, and another thing, uh, King DD is definitely utilizing the shields, because he's noticing that he's trying to do those juggles. But if he keeps on shielding and she uh, does less grabs, he's going to be able to punish. Okay, he's at 204. So Jigglypuff just needs to find that kill move to at least not get washed out. But he he's destroyed, like, nullifying all the options Jigglypuff has. Especially with all, a lot of shields. A lot of weight, too. And then there goes the forward air. A three stock. Jigglypuff just could not get that kill, and it definitely tried, and was getting anxious at the end there, uh, but could not get that kill shot. Very good match, nonetheless. Jigglypuff against King Dedede definitely held her own, especially with how strong King Dedede is, but just couldn't get in for that kill shot, because he, he was just shielding at all the right times. But still a very intense match, nonetheless. Definitely did better with the uh, Terry. Uh, matchup wise, but good match nonetheless. So now, uh, winner of Y is gonna be Gordo. You're gonna have to wait a little bit because which you could be facing Jade again, uh, depending. So now we will now, since we are at the end of the winner's bracket, I will start streaming. 
what is left of the loser's bracket. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this room. And then I'm going to wait till whoever wins this, winner of T. So T has to go. So I'm, I'm probably going to stream uh, streaming V. And stop it with your squawking. Eh. I think I turned it on. So, while we wait for those matches, deal with his raid. I want to fight the rat again. <laughs> well, we will see what happens in the loser's bracket. But, um, I, I'm going to take this time while the matches are still going to answer any uh, questions, I guess. Have a little bit of a Smash chat. Uh, you guys give me uh, opinions on what I could do better with this tournament. I think the stream itself is going well. And I think the tournament is set up like a good tournament. Um, so, but I guess any suggestions help uh, to make things better. Hopefully you can hear the game now. Uh, once I get a new PC, everything should be run better. For sure. But uh, we're going to take this time to talk Smash. Talk tournaments. Um, me watching this is also going to help my gameplay. Um, and I need, I personally need to enter more tournaments. I don't enter enough. But I'm gonna also start making videos per tournament as well. I have a lot, I have a lot of, uh, now is, is, but is the game overpowering my voice now? Because now I bet it actually works. Um, what was I gonna say? But yeah, so, I'm basically picking up, becoming a Smash 2 YouTuber right now. Because I'm doing a lot of Smash content, because I really like it, and I think it's, a, it's good. Not that... My channel is going to be only Smash. It's just what I feel like doing, and right now is the last match. It's a tad loud. Well, I will turn it down then. I don't want it to be a tad loud. I want it to be perfect. So, there's that. Um, give me about 30 seconds. I need to give birds apples. There we go, I'm back. See? Didn't take long at all. So we are still waiting on the uh, results of T so that I can stream V. But for anybody who's curious on what is happening currently, uh, the, the winner's bracket has re reached its end, so Gordo just has to wait for these matches to take place. Uh, so you're going to be waiting a while, which I'm sorry. For some reason, Losers has more rounds but uh i'm waiting for this to start uh start and then there are there are at they should technically be at the end of their stuff but seems like they're playing a while but they're on their uh final game and then we're i'm gonna stream this and uh, so, okay, we got Surreal who won this one. So he's he might be coming back into the winners if he wins this and this. But, uh, same goes for everybody, obviously. But he, uh, Jade and Surreal is, might be a comeback and get the, into the grand final. For that second shot at that good old gold. I'm coming back. <laughs> He's coming back. But yeah, also, again, if you like the stream and everything, uh, definitely give a follow and all that good stuff. Follow the Discord if you want uh, updates on everything. Uh, not just Smash tournaments, but everything I do. And like I was saying before, I am kind of becoming a Smash tuber because I, I, I do enjoy the Smash community a lot and I do want to be involved like what I'm doing here commentating streaming stuff like that and also playing matches trying to get into the scene but not saying that's going to be all my content but that seems to be what my youtube content is being really funny moments with my friends in 
Modern Warfare, Siege, and other games, and then Smash. This seems to be the case for YouTube. Twitch! Uh, I guess Tuesdays are going to be tournament days, basically. And I'm one of the only people who are doing, like, an early tournament. At least, American time. Early tournaments. Because most of them are usually... Which I, I, I actually... Because I, I meant to do it at 7 p.m. One, good thing I didn't because I actually have something going on today. But two, most people do that. I don't see a lot of uh, Smash tournaments and Smash GG that starts at noon. So this might actually be good for balancing out Smash GG and getting those early people in, you know? Hopefully. We'll see. But now we got uh, V going on. Uh, so Ryan has to check in. But I am going to be saying that I am streaming. Uh, come on. Safe station. Bam. So we got to wait for that check in. Uh, Ryab needs to, well, check in. So we got eight minutes to this qualification, but he just played his match, so he should be able to. Uh... Actually, what did he lose? He lost Jay. So it's been a while. So he, he might, it might be a while because he's probably been just waiting, or he left after he lost the, in his match, and he might win by DQ. If he doesn't want to do the loser's bracket anymore. But we will see in, well, 10 minutes. Nope, he definitely uh, went in. There we go. Perfect. Uh, I'll be streaming this match. I'm getting messages up the butt. All right, let's enter ID. Let's do this one, this one, this one, <laughs> this number, and this letter. And then we got that, 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 bam. Sonic Heroes, good song. It's capped at two. What do you mean? It doesn't. It doesn't end just because I said two o'clock is the end, right? Like, it continues past that. The arena has shut down. Oh, it's capped at two. That's what you meant. Okay. I'm an idiot. Well, don't cap it at two. I, I didn't know what you meant by that. I apologize. Okay, so he's making a new one. I, I was not paying attention at all to the numbers. I just joined, and then I'm an idiot. <clears throat> so D, 0, H, W, W. So put that in. Join. That, 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 bam. All right, spectators box.
bam, bam, bam. What comes up must come down. Yet my feet don't touch the ground. All right, so now we got uh, stages being picked. And we got a very interesting matchup going on here. We'll see uh, where this goes. My throat is insanely dry because I've been doing nothing but talking. And now I'm good. All right. All right, so they uh, they picked the stage, picking the characters. We got Pokemon Stadium 2 for the stage. And we have Pac-Man versus K. Rule. And we got K. Rule's going on tonight. Matt, the battle is about to start. All right. K. Rule versus Pac-Man. Uh... So when when it comes to matchups, this is pretty even. Uh, it might uh, with uh, with the projectiles that Pac-Man has in the combo game. Uh, I feel like Pac-Man is the better matchup here. But uh, K. Rule has a lot of super armor that could counter a lot of what Pac-Man can do, and a lot of weight. But, when you put all the factors in, Pac-Man is technically the better matchup. But that doesn't mean anything. It uh, depends on how good you play and how well you counter, uh, depending on the matchup. Like, being, like that uh, up smash, which turns into a down smash, really. Very versatile, especially in that state where it's like, oh, he did a smash attack and we can come up. Wait, it's still happening. You get hit. But he had that key. Uh, Pac-Man has a lot of options when it comes to his projectiles because of how many items there is. But Cable is actually able to uh, do a little smash attack against Pac-Man. And he has the, the stock lead. But he is high in percentage. Pac-Man could still bring this up. And that would have been good for Pac-Man if he wasn't stuck on the ledge. That, that stun fruit is very dangerous. And now we got... Oh, going, going to Strong, doing that cannon, then dash attack. That's well-timed spot dive. Oh, he tried reading the roll, but... K. Rule was very much more patient. And the spike! Did not see that coming, and neither did he. That's that that was a very well placed and very dangerous spike. So that that that, that was very well placed. So Pac-Man has a lot of work to do if he wants to come back from this. Using that fire hydrant for some good coverage. But with how heavy K Rule is, he was just able to smash that hydrant right out of the way. So a lot going on here. But K Rule definitely does have the advantage in this point. Pac-Man is didn't he do a lot, but he did do a smash attack. So he was... At least he did, he did not get shut out. And there's... Pac-Man does have a mean combo game if he combines everything well enough. But K. Rule is has a lot of weight, a lot of uh, armor. Oh! Was not expecting that little combo. And the, the up air sells it. That... The, the cannon was in such a right place, he got hit by the, the crown and the cannon at the same time. Well, one after another. So that just gave K. Rule the win. He just overpowered Pac-Man. Pac-Man couldn't get those combos in. He was just shielding at the right times and then and just smashing when he can. So that was a very good match. But when combo-heavy characters like Pac-Man... If they can't get those combos in against a heavy character, they tend to be in a disadvantage. So if that heavy character is reading that uh, uh, combo heavy character more and not letting those combos in and, you know, out patienting the other opponent, the heavy can come up on top. Technically, the matchup would have gone Pac-Man, but again, matchups don't matter if... Uh, if you could counter the play style. 
So we got um, Ryan. You did not choose your character before this match. I mean, I'll, I'll let it go. Uh, as long as this isn't Callow's pat, or just an update for me, quick enough. That's probably what happened. Never mind. But now we got a counter pick instead of Pac-Man. We got Ice Climbers, which I'm not sure if this this seems to be the better matchup. But he just his uh, partner just died, so he got a quick disadvantage, which I don't even know how that happened. I think like the, a, uh, a grab failed and he just kind of died. He that was a very unlucky turn of events. Nana, that's who it is. So that that was just unfortunate, very unfortunate for him, because that that could have gone his way a lot better if he didn't lose Nana, for sure. But he could still pull it out. He's still not high in percentage. But K. Rule, being a heavy hitter as he is, can change that real quick. It's not like they're against Sheik where it needs to take 20 minutes to garner up 50 damage. Where he just did it in like two hits. And he's not letting up on them. Like he he's playing a very aggressive game. Against characters who are also aggressive. But they got that smash attack in. So it's 0-0, zero, zero, but K. Rule still has a stock lead. So now, now he's trying to push him out, keep him, keep him spaced and zoned a little bit. Because if he gets too reckless, Ice Climber still, still has enough power to bring it back. So he's scared of getting close because Ice Climbers is a Ice Climbers are a mid-range fighter, more or less. So being able to uh, get in close and do what they're doing now, enough, could be detrimental. Again, he would, he might be in a better position if he didn't lose Nana almost immediately. That was again very unlucky turn of events. He he's turning around, but K rule is heavy, so other characters like medium weight to light characters would have definitely died there, especially lighter characters. Pichu and Sheik would have been dead five years ago. Oh, uh, and Nana was not coming to Popo. And Popo? I think. Whatever. And he uh, couldn't, couldn't get that B up in. So K. Rule won that match. Just because Nana did not... The AI for Nana did not cooperate in that match. And that was just very unfortunate. He almost pulled it back. It was very, very close in pulling it back, but Solo Popo is the scariest thing to fight because they have nothing to lose. They just, just go all out. Bam. But now we got uh, M4C3 versus Rail Mix. So I'm gonna go into there. It's loading. Why is it taking so long to load? I'm doing this for the memes. It's take. Let's click into it again. Shrill, are you also having loading issues? Or is it just me? I'm gonna, ref I'm gonna refresh the page real quick. Nope, wrong one. There we go, I just had to refresh the page. All right, Srail, you made the room, so I'm going to put in numbers and stuff. We got the that one, and 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 I click OK, and then I put in a number. When I click Join, I put that number in. Bam! I have an itch on my hand. Step into the ring. 
Mute City or Big Blue. I think it's Mute City. It's definitely Mute City. Has to be. I'm an idiot. Alright, so we, we got the room created, we got everybody in here. Um and we got wow. Very interesting start so far. My hand's cramping, first of all. So we got a very interesting start. So they're, right now they're uh, picking and choosing and banning stages. Oh, I see what you meant by the memes. I got you. So we got Ice Climbers versus K. Rule again. Uh, is the AI gonna mess rail up? We'll see. So we've seen this match before, but not played in this way. So now we in Smashville, we have not seen that uh, today. Uh, he tried doing the uh, offstage cannon, uh, which I've been seeing a lot lately of people with projectiles going offstage to shoot those projectiles. Because it's kind of hard to fight against when there's a projectile and no ground underneath them, so they can't really... They have a couple more options, and they also could have just good offstage play. And again, he, he got smashed and Nana didn't follow. So they, they got screwed. And this is Ice Climber's biggest weak, weakness is the fact that there's two of them. Because without if it's, if it's only Popo, he loses, essentially. So you have to play where Nana doesn't go too far away. So you're, playing, you're trying to play two people at once. And it doesn't work out. And with only 60%, he has a two-stock lead. So I'm beginning to believe that this is just, in general, a bad matchup. Ice Climbers cannot fight well against K. Rule. Because they're not, they're not fast enough. They, they have a, they're, like, they, they're medium in a lot of ways, and they do have some projectile. But with them being so dependent on each other and K. Rule just being able to knock both of them separate ways, which is doing wonders, it's altogether a bad matchup. Like, Popo right here is definitely trying, but is getting hit a lot. And without, without an actually good recovery, you're going to be dependent on your second jump slash... Oh, he, he pulled the Kirby. He's suicide because he knows he can. He, he sucked him up. And then he won. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's all in good fun. I didn't put any... There's no money in these tournaments. There can be. But no, I'm not going to expect people to pay for tournaments. Unless if I do like a special tournament outside of normal tournaments. Then, Sure. But now we have a uh, stage banning going on. And now he's going to play his main just because he, he just felt like playing Ice Climbers. But he knows that M4 is now playing with, is playing with K. Rule. So he might counterpick the K. Rule. Ah, uh, I just had to stretch there for a second. Not my main still. Ooh. See what happens here. So M4 is sticking with K rule. Oh, but we got Wolf, which is actually a very good counter pick against K rule. Now we say that, but last time uh, Wolf still lost against K rule, even though it is a good matchup uh, on Wolf's side. The K rules have been really good today. I've been seeing some really good K. Rule work. And not just abusing the B moves, but using them correctly. Uh, like with a super armor on the side there. But he let his crown escape him, so now he doesn't have his crown. 
So now he's weak. He, he lost half his projectile power. And being able to use the crown against K. Rule is very useful. But very well-timed uh, counter with his own crown awarded him his crown back. And he read that dash attack. He knew he, he was going to do it, so he shielded instead. And that edge guard game of K. Rule is because of the cannon. But he's, uh, Wolf was still able to slip that uh, side B in. And I think it was even in the sweet spot. But K. Rule is so heavy that it didn't uh, do as much as it could have. Now, uh, the edge guard game has been... A today a lot of projectile work instead of a lot of off air play and that 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 counter he was not expecting the uh shine there so he, he got punished for it and he was so high in damage that he couldn't do it but that counter it was a lot, a lot of these counters are not being expected and uh being able to adjust for them has not been big but then he, he knew that could have happened so now, I like I like it when I see it, uh, people adapt when they play. And he's gonna hold it. Oh, but he shielded instead instead of counter. The the mix up is real in this one. But Wolf is definitely trying to space K rule as much as he can, trying to uh, lure him into uh, mistakes. But K. Rule is K. K. Rule knows that he's re re into it. So he, he, I think because he sh uh, held shine, it went. He he countered, but then it ca got countered again. But you can't counter twice as K. Rule obviously, so he just died out of it because there was so much momentum and power behind it that. His percentage was there. So with that one move and not being able to read the shine like he did before, Wolf is now in the lead. A stock, a stock lead even. Not full stock, technically. But... Actually, no, he's in more of a lead than that. But that back throw... Not the strongest back throws, but he, he could have gotten some good offstage play right there. And he, he grabbed, they both shielded him. It was just down to who's who's going to grab at that point, or who's going to drop. That could have been bad if you were facing the right way. Oh, but he got that counter. But countering the, the bullet isn't, which is still good, but it's not going to kill him. That might, though. And oh wow, he, he, he just did the up tilt and nailed it. So, even stocks, but 150% damage difference. So, they're going to try to uh, do something with that. Ooh, he weighed him out just so he could uh, throw his blaster. Because I don't know if the cannon can suck up the blaster, it might. The rules on things like that are a little inconsistent in this game. On what can and cannot be. Oh, he shined the crown on its way back. So when K. Rule got it back, he got damaged instead. Which was actually very impressive. Because the, the crown... The crown has super armor in itself. Oh, he pulled back after the uh, side B. So he wouldn't get smashed that because that could have been over. Because that smash attack is powerful. But K. Rule really playing patiently. Because he knows he can win this with like two good moves. But Wolf is in a very good spot. Because Wolf is still very powerful. Even though he's a medium weight. He, he has a lot in his kit that could just destroy K. Rule right now. That air dodge. He was, he was still invincible. But he's not. But K. Rule is playing so patiently, and Wolf is not able to get anything going. Oh, the, and those grab attacks were just not reaching. He was just like a few pixels off of actually being able to grab, and probably back throw for the win. And 
The roll to the grab to the back throw. One of my favorite tactics as a banjo player myself. One of my favorite tactics is using that back throw. And he was able to come out. That, that one move. That one move of the cannonball hurt K. Rule a lot. So here is the final match of this game. So we got stages banning, and we got maybe counter picks happening. We will see. All right. So now they are selecting characters and stages right now. Oh, uh, stage, we got the Kalos Pat, uh, blah, 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 Pokemon League. And we will see, uh, who is who. They could see who's who. Same matchup, so, it was a very close match, so, changing out of your main, trying to counter Wolf, might have been a bad idea, so, it, even though Wolf is still a good counter pick, that was still an almost win, as well. So, but it's a different stage, so, this could definitely play out very differently. Oh, but K. Rule does have the upper hand right now. That good old throw combo. And the, the bad thing about K. Rule's counter is that it is only powerful in the stomach area. It's powerful, but only in that area. Hit otherwise, and he's done for. But... He was able to get that early stock lead with that uh, offstage play. And he, he almost sucked him up for another stock. K. Rule is playing a lot better this time. Like, Wolf is trying to get something in. And he's playing insanely aggressive. He's not really spacing him out. And Wolf is just getting a little overwhelmed. And that down smash, very elusive down smash. Because it takes a while. He goes up, so... A, a normal, like, lower attack doesn't hurt him. And then he just smashes down, which is very powerful. And now he has a two-stock lead with only 53% damage. Wolf, again, can definitely pull this out. I've seen uh, better comebacks. But, comebacks like that are rare, but don't count him out just yet. Wolf is still a good counter pick. And if he just plays his cards right, he might be able to even it up a bit. So now he's trying to play a little more spacey. And K. Rule's kind of doing the same. He's calmed down because he probably is a little more confident. He doesn't have to play as aggressive. And Wolf, knowing he can play aggressive, is trying to space him, it seems like. And it's just sh shield hit attack. That long distance uh, dash attack, easily read by K. Rule. He had a lot of time to react to that. Trying to read the jump. But K. Rule is a lot more, a little bit more patient than that. That up smash could have ended K. Rule right there, but K. Rule again, uh, just stayed in his spot. But he lost the crown. He got right back. The 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 good time shit. Oh, he rolled right into the jab combo. And this does not look good for Wolf currently. Oh, he's he saw that smash attack. Try try doing the side B, but unlike. Uh, Fox and Falco, it it goes horizontal or goes diagonal. But is he able to get the stock up here? He's going to try to do the, the smash attack, Mario style, straight to the ground. Wolf could have taken that with the back, but K. Rule read that for a three stock. GG both of you. Very good matches. That was a very, very close set. But GG both of you. So now we just gotta wait for uh, match to be verified. Ring has been shut down. So once these guys verify the match, I will be uh, streaming Jade versus M4. Which, uh, did that happen before? Yes, this is the rematch. 
Jade versus M4. This is just like the literally the first match of the night is now the last match of the losers final, which we might be, which we might see Gordo versus Jade again, or M4 might be able to come back and uh, get some payback. We will see what happens. This is a this is a turn of events for sure. This is exciting. This <laughs> up again, he says. You forgot I wore. We got we got some trash. Presumably friendly trash talk in the comments open here. Very good. We got that good old smash trash talk. As it happens. Alright, so we got J versus M4. Uh, gonna... Uh, wait on room code. There we go. I hit B way too many times because I'm dumb sometimes. So we got K X nine R K. Gonna join that. All right, I am here, here to spectate. I guess Surreal and Gordo is having a uh, off tournament match, which is fine, up to your discretion. What song is this? I like it. Anyway. Done with uh, dancing. Uh, let me look at what's happening. Okay. Jade is changing it up from her first fight against him. Uh, I'm going to let Stream find out what that change is. Also, I'm stretching. Alright, waiting for... Okay, so now, F4 is in. Jade is in. Battle is about to start. It is K. Rule versus Pikachu. So changing up, not doing the Terry matchup anymore. Which, P Pikachu might actually be a better matchup because P uh, Pikachu is combo game and air game. Uh, Pikachu is higher tier than Terry for a reason. But... I love that you're using the hat that looks like Terry's hat as Pikachu. I love it. I That's actually funny. I love it. GG on that. So, we, we got M4 against Jade again, but as a Jade as a different character. So, this is going to be a different match. And we got Cannonball. So, he's, try, he's trying to play uh, the zone game with Pikachu because Pikachu is deadly mostly up close. You only only got that one projectile move, and that's only for uh, things like that, stopping advancements with slight damage. And uh, K. Rule just trying to not letting Pikachu get in any of those combo games. Oh, he used the cannon. Just oh, he tried he tried uh, that little edge guard reading the uh, roll. But Pikachu did just a little bit later than he thought it would have happened. The Pikachu, not dying, but really high percentage. One one good smash attack from K. Rule at this point can finish Pikachu off. And that would have worked with most other characters. But K. Rule's recovery has that attack or has that damage. 
above that doing a down spike while he's in his recovery doesn't work. But he tried suiciding with Pikachu and it did not work. The air dodge happened right in the good time. Oh, he bypassed the, the hitbox for the helicopter, but he was not high enough percentage to have it be a down spike. So, K. Rool was still able to do something about it. K. Rool did that four throw, trying to just keep Pikachu at the edge there. Oh, up tilt, getting into that combo. Doing, doing that forward smash. Oh, quick tack, but K. the K. Rules tonight have been really good at timing their shields and then punishing immediately after. Which basically is what mostly what K. Rules have to do, because without shielding, they can be very vulnerable. So just shielding at the right times. Which technically, yes, every character can, but uh, K. Rule is very good at punishing out of shield. And that's like his the main thing that will make him survive, really. And now K. Rule does have a stock lead, but Pikachu, but very high percentage Pikachu can change this with a down smash. Now it's 100% neutral, completely even. This could go either way. This is a really good match. Oh, we, we, we got the uh, fair combo, or the um, bear combo. Really good. Only for 48 damage, because he, he is heavy. He has a lot of defense. But it worked. That Definitely juggling him a bit, getting him a little worried. That smash attack, though. Not the sweet spot, but got a good amount of damage. Pikachu is now not being as aggressive, playing really the spacey game. Because K. Rule can't punish aggressive play with how heavy and uh, armory he is. So P uh, Pikachu is definitely trying to nullify that with a little bit more patient play. Oh, he got the up air. Oh, but he DI'd right out of the uh, combo. He, that could have been the end of him. But with a, with a good DI, he got out. But it's not over yet. Without again, with K. Rule being a hard hitter, he could he could change this right up. Pikachu's technically winning, but again, K. Rule's heavy and, and still very even. Oh, he was not expecting that quick attack and the up smash for the win. Pikachu wins that set. All right, we got Pikachu for the win and K. Rool for the lose. That was a very close matchup. That could have gone either way. That was a good match. So now we got stages being banned. We got stages being chosen. We got things happening up, down, left, right, break dancing. Sheriff Flo says GG. Everything's being cool. So now, are we going to go for the counter pick or are we going to stay? It was a very close match. So, each player can stay if they're confident enough in their characters. Pikachu was definitely uh, reading K. Rule a bit at the end there. Okay, we got Smashville, so we're changing up a little bit. And again, good song. For the arena. All right, no counter picks needed. We just changed the stage. Still going K. Rule Pikachu. Again, this could go either way. Jade could win this again. If she could uh, have that rematch with Gordo. Three, two, one, go. Or no, M4. Could, who's having the rematch? Somebody's having a rematch, and somebody's about to win. But I'm gonna pay attention to the match instead. Somebody, this, this match could determine uh, Jade going to the grand finals, or this could be pushed to a, a third match. And right now, Pikachu is overwhelming K. Rule, uh, playing a little more of a spacey game and utilizing grabs more because we caught on that K. Rule is shielding a lot. 
And also, he lost his crown, so he can't even do that currently. But he's going to get it back right now because he threw Pikachu off the stage. Oh, that, that was a very, very close up smash that could have gone bad if she just rolled to the right, which she probably was trying to read. But Pikachu had other plans. That dash attack, though, pushing Pikachu off stage. But Pikachu does really well off stage, so it's not like it's bad for Pikachu being off stage. Especially with Pikachu's recovery. Like, Pikachu's recovery is good and fast. It's. It doesn't. I don't think it has as much height as K Rules can be, but it's better because it's so fast. And you could have a mix up where K Rules is just kind of a one no. But it's still really good. Being a heavy that could recover from bombs uh, of a kill plane, very good. But they are very close in percentage, which means Pikachu is in the disadvantage because of how hard hitting K Rule is. But one smash attack from either opponent uh, will win them the stock. But K Rule has a lot more options when it comes to killing when it's in high percentage like that. Like that back throw killed Pikachu right there. But now. Oh, he, he, he got SD because he was he held the cannon out for too long. So now it's back to neutral. Zero, zero, two stocks each. And and they're they're really playing they're trying to really space each other a lot. They're trying to re read each other because they're both of these opponents are adapting to their opponent quite well, honestly. Trying trying to keep knowing that he does best under stage, like with a recovery like that. Just spam spamming that uh, Thunderbolt really was very helpful there. Especially since Thunderbolt attaches to whatever ground it's on. And Pikachu with the, uh, ooh, space a little bit, trying to uh, mix it up a bit. And it worked. That dash attack definitely worked. And he, she's got the crown. Oh, but couldn't, did not expect to get hit by the helicopter. And couldn't attack because it was not expected. Try, trying to edge guard with that offstage game and pay the price. I was not expecting that. I thought that matchup was going to win. But K, again, K. Rool had different plans for that. Because even though it's a small hitbox, it's a very useful hitbox for the helicopter. You can hit past it, but usually not. Oh! He didn't bounce down like Pikachu wanted. But that was still a very good play by Pikachu. But K. Rool was still able to recover from it. And we got a lot of trash talk in the uh, stream there. But I'm paying attention to this match. Which, now Pikachu is in the disadvantage. Uh, but with it, Pikachu's combo game, as long as they keeps it... You know, in the orange percentage, Pikachu can win this, but K. Rule is not budging. Oh, a smash attack would have solved it there, but instead, she try going for the uh, neutral air combo. Uh, and, and that cannon neutralized that uh, up smash. Oh, he, and he's he got the. Uh, down throw into the up tilt. And back throw finishes off Pikachu. Pikachu just couldn't get that killing blow. It was a lot of combo game. Got him up to 200%, but just couldn't get that fishing kill. K. Rule wins match two. We got one more match in this game. Ha! Oh, you're, you're, yeah, because your bird's called Pikachu. That's right. Well, oops. All right, opponent is banning stage. We got one more, one more game in this set. So this is very close. Are we gonna get a counter pick, or are they are are they gonna just gonna stay the same? K. Rule definitely pulled it out for that win at the end there. So Jade might stay with Pikachu because it could, it could, it's still a very good option, or she might go back to Terry. We'll see. Uh, 
Also, I'm checking my Facebook messages. All right, so now they are choosing things. Uh, stage is Town City, so we got another um, Animal Crossing stage. Let's see what happens here with... Uh, she switched back. So now we got K. Rool versus Terry. So just like the first match or first, first set, we're coming back. All right, K. Rool versus Terry. Let's see what happens here. So this matchup worked very well for Jay the first time, but M uh, M4 might have uh, adapted throughout this tournament to maybe play better against this matchup. Not as much air game as Pikachu does, but very strong ground game and a bit heavier than Pikachu. And those combos are very deadly. A lot, uh, like. Terry has a lot more options when it comes to actually power hits and killing. And has a good combo game. You know, Pikachu is a lot more being able to juggle than Terry is. Because of how floaty Pikachu is comparatively. And it seems like K. Rool is having a tr tr uh, hard time with uh, Terry being different. Being so heavy comparatively to Pikachu. And, yeah, uh, K. Rool not being able to really get a good uh, chain going. But, definitely did the, got that uh, dash attack going pretty well. With, with how heavy... Sorry, I just stepped on something. Uh, with how heavy K. Rool is, this kit, he can still come back pretty well. Especially if his uh, edge guard game is really good. Just like... That up smash that just happened it's, uh, got prioritized because he uh, hit around the hitbox. So it's not even prioritized. It's just hit the different spot. But Terry is still up in percentage. Same stock, but percentage. K. Will still can bring this back pretty quick. But I don't think Terry is going to allow it to happen. But having good uh, off stage right there. Just got to do some... Super armor coming in for the clutch for K. Rule. Not not letting that uh, side B do anything. Terry trying to space out K. Rule, but K. Rule does have a better zone game than Terry does. Even with the uh, two options and the state, the, the platforms are moving, and he do oh he doesn't be up. He goes for the suicide instead. Try reading the. Uh, the roll, but instead Terry jumped instead. I said instead twice, but the cannon sucked him up and got it good. It's almost neutral, but Terry's got that combo game. K. Rule is definitely gonna have to rely a lot on his uh, super armor in certain situations, because K. Rule can be stuck in a very bad Terry combo. Because combo characters like Terry are really good. Oh! The smash attack out of nowhere! <coughs> Did not think it was going to reach that far. Crazy! GG both of you. That was a really good set. Very exciting on both ways. That was very good. So, very, very different from your guys' last. So both of you definitely played through a tournament and got, you know, again, very different results from last time. But, GG both of you. All matches were very close. I liked it. So, we, not, we got Gordo and M4. Making sure I have... I, hey, hey, ho, ho. There we go. There's the shutdown.
All right. So they're having a conversation, but now we got a room number. And then we got a room code. All right. Which I, I think this match happened before, didn't it? Step into the ring. No, it did not. But we, we got uh, two heavies. So we will see how this uh, match happens. Oh, Gordo changing it up a little bit. Being a little, a little bit cheeky, aren't you? <laughs> Thanks, Stream Rider. You are a pretty good spokesman, really informative for someone who doesn't know what makes a good matchup and what the hell is actually going on. I appreciate. <laughs> I don't know how long you've been here, but thank you. I try. All right. So, very interesting turn of events. The person who has been playing... Kane Diddy for the entire tourney has changed it up and now we are playing K Rule versus K Rule. Yeah, there there has been a lot of K rules in this uh, tourney. Almost every match has been uh, had a K rule. I have not seen this many K rules in a tourney ever. So this is, my first tourney running is very interesting, to say the least. But we have not seen a K rule versus a K rule yet. So, and I'm already noticing a lot of same play styles, uh, like what's effective and what's not. And with the suicide, uh, not, quite because his recovery is so good oh and that uh back air just pushing him out now talking about matchups this is just a ditto match so it's whoever could uh outplay the other person or whoever could get that lucky read even if they're completely equal anything could happen but uh m4 being a person who has played uh k rule the entire time uh, he, he's a little bit more in tune with what he's been playing, but this is, oh, it does not continue. Got it. So, you, so this is very much a, uh, Gandor fight from Ocarina of Time situation going on here, but, uh, Gordo lost, uh, not, yeah, he lost. That little, uh, I, I got mixed up by your tag, Large Lad. I, I got a little messed up. Anyway, he won that, uh, or M4 won that little in between. But like what I was trying to say before, before I distracted myself by myself, is that M4 has been playing K Rule the entire tournament, even though I assume Gordo pockets or at least secondary uh, K Rule. In, in, in this tournament itself, M4 has been playing a lot more K rule. So we'll just see what happens. Right now, M4 does have the lead, not only by stock, but the uh, percentage is almost equal. And the down smash solidifies match one. So M4 wins. It got very close at first, but K Rule, or K Rule, they're both K Rule. M4 pulls it out. I wish it kept going faster and faster. I could tell that's what you guys were trying to do. Hehehe. <laughs> 
The two people that beat me are the two who made it to the grand finals. Who do I root for? I don't want to root for the people who beat me. No! I've only seen fights with K. Rule. I don't know if that indicates anything. It doesn't indicate much because the entire tournament has been full of K. Rules. Almost every match I've commentated has been a K. Rule match. Ruin for Gordo. All right. We got Surreal Ruin for Gordo. So he changed it back up to his uh, King DDD. Obviously his main. So now he has a little bit more uh, range to deal with. Opposed to K. Rule. And he knows... DD more. And Gordo is definitely a different projectile than both Cannon and Crown. So being able to mix it up with that. But K. Rule still has his counter that's really good against Gordo. But like what King DD just showed, his his B is a little more effective when it comes to sucking things up, because you don't have to don't have the lag of the cannon. Granted, cannon is still a good mix-up option. Being able to throw the cannon out, throw a ball out there, and the crown out there. So this is still, this is a pretty even matchup when you uh, consider pros and cons. But, the charged up hammer breaks K. Rule shield, guarding that stock. So... DD is in the lead currently. So K. Rule needs to not get hurt too much here. Because both being heavies, he can't be too far behind. Because it's gonna it's gonna be hard to take Gordo out. But he gets that back throw in, he might be able to He was almost able to kill him off stage. But King DD got a little too low and was still able to recover. Oh, they both read the jump. Just K Rule got the better. And shield right off of stage. Oh, two stock lead. That switching to King DD definitely benefited Gordo quite a bit. But mid-air cannon, can't really defend against that in that case. An air dodge, but definitely hard to read for how close it was. Oh, suicide because he wanted an attack. That, that, that SD that was not beneficial for uh, King DDD whatsoever. Throwing, throwing it, uh, being able to suck up that crown, but it wasn't really too useful. But he still, Gordo still has the upper hand. Really being aggressive with the offstage play, though. Almost breaking K. Rule's shield. That would have been the end of it. Uh, that back air, very lethal back air. Oh. Oh, he's going to try to use the crown for his own benefit. He's got the crown back, but he was able to distract K. Rule long enough to get hidden. No walking, just blowing. Oh, he's really trying to get him off the edge. Well, he's really staying there. No, no match needed from K. Rule, apparently. Just trying to weigh him out. Because I think he was expecting the mash. And then K. Rule just didn't do it. Oh, and with the forward air into the wall, couldn't tech it. And there goes King Didi going for a third match this set. Are we going to get a counter pick or are we going to stay the same? That was a very close match. Man can't back up his trash talk and I respect that. That's good. Alright, so we are banning stages and we are now choosing stages. Uh, let's see if there's a counter pick happening. King DD was a really good uh, choice against K. Rule. Had a lot of options against K. Rule's playstyle. Still technically even. And we are going back to the same matchup. This is the last match of the night because I think Grand Finals are still best of threes and not best of fives in this rule setup. Three, 
Is this BO3? I don't think so. Oh, I think so. I don't know. We will see. If so, uh, next tourney, I will try to change that. Grand final should be best of five. But we will see. So, definitely, K. Rule definitely pressuring uh, DD a lot right there. DD coming back on stage, getting that uh, good old small combo game going on. But that back air really wasn't good for King DD. Oh, but King DD got his own back air. But still wasn't able to kill K. Rule until then. Got, got that down smash reading the. Uh, Getting on stage. Up air. But he was close enough. Oh, he's really doing a lot of offstage play right now. Oh, but they tr they traded and he just happened to get a uh, good hit on him. But he charged that smash attack and K. Rool was just not ready for that. K. Rool could still pull this out, especially with good offstage play, but... Gordo has definitely shown that his offstage play with King DDD is probably one of the more imp impressive offstage play I have seen from a King DDD. Granted, I don't see a lot of King DDD in tournament play, but nor do I see a lot of K. Rule. And broke his shield because uh, of his super armor. Oh, but King DDD glowed it just a little too long for it to be as effective as it could have been. And my birds are being loud all of a sudden. It annoys me. And K. Rool's almost on uh, verge of breaking. He's been relying too much on his uh, super armor. And he is in a very bad spot right now. This, 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 could, be, this could be the end. Because even if K. Rool does get a stock, he still has an entire stock to go through. That's why he's playing a lot more patient. But he sucked up. Going for the suicide. But... The B up did not allow that. Oh, using that invincibility for his own uh, good. Oh, that side smash. K. Rool could take at least one more stock. But DD has been very fortitude. Oh, trying for that suicide, but cancels right in the last second. Forward smash, not not too powerful. Which interesting because he's at a very high percentage. So that forward smash really isn't that powerful. Goes for the suicide. He's really trying to style on M4, but gets the uh Nair and wins that match. Now we will see if it's a best of five. <laughs> Even though, uh da, da, da. No, it was a best of three. So, if you guys want to confirm the match, still a very, very good set. Uh, I'm going to look at the chat log real quick. All right, verified results. So now if we look at it, G, G, which, I'm gonna play the sound effect. My soundboard's broken, great. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, no, it's cause my speaker's down. That's right. But anyway, uh, good job uh, Gordo for the win of the entire tournament. Very good matches. And as you can see, there's a lot of heavies this time. Uh, and a lot of the matches I looked at has been a lot of K rules. But, uh, GG, everybody who uh, played in the tournament, everybody who was in the 
uh, stream and everything else. So again, this is another look at the bracket of what happened. Got a couple DQs, some people did not join. But all in all, very good matches. So I would like to thank everybody for joining this tourney. What's up, bird? Um, next tourney, I will make it better. I will, the grand final, finals, I will make a best of five if I can figure out how to change that, which I should be able to. Uh, so, oops. But, again, the more tournaments that happen, the better they will be. I will try to make them like, about noon o'clock. Uh, noon o'clock, I, I said it on the right, on ironically that time. Can I try to have it at 12 o'clock on Tuesdays, central time, uh, convert that to whatever time zone you have being one of the few early tournaments because most of them are around seven or you know those late times so hopefully i could just fit into a niche of people who want to play tournaments early which is nice but i would like to thank everybody who uh came through very good matches very good matches uh if you want to know and stuff about future tournaments and stuff like that you could follow my social media or uh, go into my Discord, which the link is down below, and you will be able to not only talk about Smash, but know when I stream other games and these tournaments, know when I upload videos, chat among others in different topics, movies, anime, Smash, whatever, uh, have suggestions for me for the Discord and for the tournaments, etc., etc. You see the clip of me spiking that Pac-Man off the ca cannonball? Yeah, GG. Um, sorry to upset about not having a best of five at the end there. Uh, again, first tournament, so not everything wasn't 100% correct, I guess. But for being a first tournament, I think it went very well. All things considered. So, again, I would like to thank everybody for joining the match or joining the tournament. Uh, I would like to thank all the follows, like. Miswan, Sarail, uh, that guy, uh, 362. Thank you for all the follows. But I am going to definitely end the stream here. Again, I do appreciate everybody who came. And maybe next time uh, I'll have a little uh, match with the winner. And uh, that might be the consolation prize, I guess. Not consolation, but the winning prize is to fight the stream organizer and probably win but that i think that would be a fun idea but uh that is for a future tournament which again uh stay tuned for those things also i like to say that i am part of fate to karma which is a stream team which they do stuff with esports and charity and they help us with uh sponsors and things like that i would also like to mention tc throwers because i do a podcast with tc throwers every wednesday at eight o'clock central you can also find it on Google Play and iTunes. You can also follow me at PlayPod Co. on Facebook and Twitter. And also subscribe to me at on YouTube at PlayPod. Uh, links to all those things and more, like my archive chi channel, my Discord, especially my Discord for this. All those things are down below. And I would like to thank everybody for joining the tournament. Thanks for watching. More will be coming. And thank you. Also, I will be rating somebody if you want to chill in the stream for a little bit.